Because I'm not going to be presumptuous. Mm. You know, presumptuous. You know, we do the wrongs and then we pray. Oh, I'm not going to be that person. I didn't practice that before. But I ask of you today, where my heart is, cause it to be blessed. And cause your name to be glorified tonight through this word. Today, as the mothers are celebrating, feeling that season of being a mother, Ah, uh, someone is grateful while others are ungrateful. Praise God. Children, loved ones, praise God. And those who have been a guardian, amen, who has been there. They have not had a child, but they have been so good, better than so many mothers. But I pray today, that's why you have to be the God who care. And you know the heart who care, not partial for one-sided of the family amen whether it's a boy or a girl the siblings oh god oh god the mother will love all praise god one may have a little you know bad ways but it must be love and i thank you for being the god who cares oh lord we pray that the cares of god will touch the hearts and the mind of your people I pray that your care, O oh God, will be in line in the lives of these mothers. Every mother's today, children giving problems. Sometimes the children is out of hand so much, out of place because of the devil raging in the lives of these kids. Oh Lord, I ask of you today, because some of us get children out of your will, out of your will. Some of us get in your will. Praise God at the right place and right time. But you have turned the bad into good. But sometimes we reap what we sow. But I'm asking it today that you cause oh god a relief somebody desire relief i know you are here praise god somebody desire for a relief no care the, no matter the age you are praise god no, no matter how old the child is you desire to have a relief amen you know to be released from that burden that that motherly burden praise god you have been hurt you have been going through what you're a mom you have done wrong or the child has done you wrong or something has happened along the family line but today the responsible god who knows how to care is able to change that may you reach out and touch him praise god and cause him to see you looking up looking up to him at the cross up the cross praise god as he hung hung his head i, I mean I, I must say to you before he had hung his head he was there sitting i mean he was there right there looking down not sitting but looking down and his very beloved mother and i say to you the lord is looking down on his beloved children today may we cause him to be recognized amen so to be knowing that you you have recognized and behold him by his actions not by how you want to see him but the way you have proven that no man could have done what he has done and what he's doing today it must be the god of our righteousness somebody glorify him and tell him thanks as we go into this word today may the lord set us free and cause us to be blessed in no other name but in jesus name amen thank you lord Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is one Lord. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is the remission of sin. Jesus Christ died for you and I. He paid a price. That price that he paid, none of us could have paid that price. And I always heard my father, my belated pastor and father would say, Jesus Christ asks, who would go down and die for Adam falling race? And I heard him in the days of his preaching and his teaching. So the, all the other angels, they, 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 they fold their wings. Praise God. 
but Jesus Christ represent and said, I will praise God. I will go down and die, pay the price and set us free. Anywhere I go today, I want the world to know that the blood of Jesus ransomed me. He paid a price and he set me free. Everywhere I go, I want the world to know that the blood of Jesus ransomed me. The blood of Jesus ransomed me. He paid the price and he set me free. Everywhere I go, I want the world to know that the blood of Jesus ransomed me. The blood of Jesus. But I want to share the scripture with you of his crucifixion as we celebrate this in the season Mother's Day. Which we all know over the world in various dates and season of our daily living, there are celebrations. And the Bible spoke of a lot of celebration that had took place in the days of old. And today, in this life, as we who are alive in this, we know we have experienced a lot of celebration. Now, this weekend is... The celebration of mothers. My God. So you have all kind of mothers. Responsible. Irresponsible. Mothers who have birth child. But the child is not around. Praise God. But you are still a mother. You have caregivers who have served as a mother. But they have never birthed a child. But a mother who birthed a child, just as Mary, through the hands of God, is divine move upon her life. Praise God. What caused her to birth a special child? None beside him, none to compare. And that which he had came to this earth to do in representing his father. All that he was assigned to do, the mission was accomplished. But as we go into the scripture tonight... John 19, I'm going to read from verse 25. And somebody said, Lord, have your way. Praise it. Have your way, Lord. I'm asking you. And it read thus. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother, sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. So three Marys were there. Let me go again. Now there stood, I'm reading John 19, verse 25. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother. Bless woman. And his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas. And 
Mary Madeline. Is it three person there? Three. Three Marys was at the cross. My God. Wow. My God. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Res respect women, men. Can I say it again? Men, let us respect women. Women who are considered to be what? Representative in the very line are the will of God. A mother who is standing at the foot of the cross is beholding her son whose name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's not yet dead, but she's looking up on the cross at him. While other things are happening at the foot of the cross, there are all sort of what? Stories taking place around his life. Events, I should say, activities. Things are happening about his life being on the cross. But our focus tonight is to observe his saying the move of his mother in this word. Verse 26 is saying, when Jesus therefore saw his mother, praise God, and the disciple standing by whom he loved, I guess that is John, praise God, John, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. I want somebody to tell or type it. I look to someone who is right beside you and tell them, Jesus care. My wife, Jesus care. Jesus cares about you. Somebody speak it. Somebody declare it. Somebody know it that Jesus Christ cares. He cares about me. When he was on the cross, he cares about me. When he was going through his agony, he cares about me. Tell your neighbor, Jesus cares about me. He, he, he does only, he, 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 he not only cares, he cares, but he's concerned as well. What will I be doing with my life? If you have not heard or hear from me or seen me, what would you do or will you be doing? Will you still represent me? When you pray, you get no answer. Will you still trust me? The Lord cares and concern for his mother was right there at the cross. But he said to her, woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. Your safety remains in God. 
Type that right there in your heart or on Facebook or on YouTube. Your safety remains in God. He was concerned about her welfare. Her safety. So he has to leave her in the care of someone who has the love. So you will be a mother, birth a child, but you don't understand how to care. So the Lord will set up that child in the hands of who? Someone who knows how to what? Care. The Lord knows of those who are responsible. The Lord trusts John so much with his mother that he could say, Son, behold your mother. The care of God still lurks, still active, still. The care of God is still here. The very safety of God is still here. The Lord is able to set us up good in the hands of those who are responsible to be of good care to us. Ah. Huh? As you celebrate today, Jesus Christ, he was in agony, but he was concerned, amen, about the welfare, about the very way life of his mother after he will give up, uh, he have given up the ghost. Come on, man. After he have what? Uh, die. He, he, he is concerned. Amen. So he has to put things in place. The Lord God knows how to put things in place. He's a true family man. If you don't know to be a true family man or a family woman, God will teach you. He's the best teacher. You may not got it, get it or got it from your mom or your dad. Cause some of you, you have age. You didn't get that love. You never get that way out to, you know, to be balanced as a mom or a dad. You see a kind of pull up life as you grow. Amen. Coming up through your youthful days. But today God is saying, I'm able to show you how. Amen. To be what? Responsible. To be a responsible woman, a mother. To be a responsible father who is a man. He was setting her good. In the care of one who he trusts. One who he can rely on. Because he knows the heart. Ah, uh, for God to say the one he loved, something about John, play, praise his name, something about John, bless you sister Shellyan, something about John, there's something that God see in him, praise God, that he can hold him, amen, I mean he can hold him. I mean, to, at that place where he will be responsible enough to do that which he would have done if he was going to still be around in the flesh because he's not going to be, amen, that son in the flesh no more. Amen. He's going to be the God who is a spirit. I'm saying to you, the God who is a spirit today is able to teach you how to be a father, how to be a mother, how to be caring, how to be loving, how to be, come on, one who can be in good hands of those 
who we have blessed you to take care of. That's why you find there is caregivers in the church, mothers who God set up, amen, to be mothers in the church. I'm talking to somebody today who God has charged you with a charge. There's a charge on somebody's life where God is expecting something of you that you will you will take it to the place where God is looking to see, amen, you coming through because of that which is anointed for you to do. There's anointing on your life for that which God has charged you to do. There's a charge. There's a charge. And John has been charged right there at the foot of the cross. He has been promoted. I hear you, Lord. Right at the foot of the cross, John was promoted. The one that Jesus Christ loved, his beloved John. He was promoted. He was charged right there. Praise God. And he said, mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Promotion is at the foot of the cross. I hear you. Thank you, Lord. There is promotion at the foot of the cross. I'm coming true. Let me loose. Lord, have your way. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Because I can say to you, in his grief, in his very agony, there is still power in Jesus Christ to cause a life to be turned, cause a life to be having the hope. I know she have hope after you have spoken. Don't take the word of God light. Don't take the charge that is upon your light, light, on, on your life lightly. Don't take it very much in the way of your flesh. Take it in the spirit because it's a big move for God to charge you when he's going through come on somebody when he's going through that very agony moment I mean what he has been through I mean if you would know you would understand you would have to serve him you have to serve him look at him dressing up John Dressing up his mother. Come on, a man. Watching my man. I fix them good. Praise God. The dying God who is not going to be dead. Praise God. But he died for our sins. Come by somebody. I mean, but he's not yet ascended to his father. But he's still doing a great work on the cross. He's still doing a great work for his father on the cross. He cannot leave and turn stuff. He got to fix things, put it in place according to his father's will. Who am I talking? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So as he's up there on the cross, he's looking down, praise God. Still looking down on the need. Come on, have somebody's life. I'm talking to you. Amen. You may think he's a partial God because of his mother, the foot of the cross. But she's the one who he loves. And if you are in the care of God, knowing that he loves you, he will set you up good. Jesus Christ was fulfilling his family responsibility right at the foot of the cross where his, his mother is and where he was on the cross. Now, uh, is family responsibility. Is is devoted. Is devoted. We need to be devoted to that which we have started out to be in God. We need to be devoted. If you are a son, you are just a son. If you are a daughter, you are just a daughter. If you are called for that work for the Lord, carry it out. Whatever charge, whatever duty that is of the Lord in your life, carry it out. Son, John 19. What a blessed word. John 19 verse 25 and 26. And the Lord is continuing with 27. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas. Praise God. And Mary Madeline, three Marys was at the foot of the cross. Now verse 26. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, that means he's alive. He's not dead. 
He not give up the ghost yet. And the disciple standing by. Praise God. I mean, we need the men them to come up. Come on, somebody. We need the men them to come up. The responsible men them to come up. We need all of us. You and I, we shall be responsible. The devoted men. The God that I serve is calling devoted men. Totally, we need to be totally devoted, Sister Pauline. That's right. Totally devoted. Have your way, Lord. I'm taking my time. In this word, in this word, John 19, I'm reading 25, 26, and 27. Wherever the Lord said, stop, I'm telling you, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, who he loved, whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. He could have said mother, but he said woman, woman. There's a meaning for it. He could say, Mother, how could you speak and say, Mother, when you know he's not going to be that son that he was in the flesh to her? He cannot speak like that. He is God. He's going back. Going back. To his heavenly womb. Praise God. He's not going to be in the flesh no more. He is a spirit God today. Somebody need to know that God is a spirit. He's not the God who was walking in the flesh and the spirit. Knowing that he was with the disciples. I'm telling you. Knowing that he was the son of his, of his mother. He's no more. So he's letting her know it's not going to be the same anymore. Come on, man. Just as how we come to God, we cannot be the same. Do who we were in the flesh. The lifestyle we used to live in sin. Come on, oh man. The lifestyle of Jesus is a living example to all. And he said to her, woman, very nicely, behold your son. Then said he to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her. To his own home. What a charge. What a caring disciple. Ah, huh? When God trusts you. He trusts you. Look at the cross. Where he was on. And he could look down. And trust man. Tell your neighbor, there's somebody today in the body of Christ that God can trust. There's somebody today in the home, praise God, you may be one out of the many in your family, but God trusts you. The church may be packed, may be rammed, but God trusts somebody in that house. You may be in the marriage, praise God. Nobody trusts you in the home. Nobody trusts you in the community. But God trusts you. I'm talking to somebody today. But look at Jesus looking down. Looking at someone who he can trust, amen. Who has the ability, who knows how to care for someone who he cares for. His mother. He knew that John, the beloved John, who do what he would have known of him to do. And he charged him right there. The dying God who is dying for our sins, charging a man who is capable of his duty. Ah, uh, look at him. He did not say no. He did not say no. He took it on. 
Because some of you come to God and God charge you, but you're still wavering. You're still wandering. You're still, if you know God charge you, work with the charge. Obey God. Do his will. And today, as we are here, today as we are here, yeah. cause the Lord to look down from his heavenly home. I'm talking to somebody. He's a living example on the cross. Cause God to look down from his heavenly throne and cause us to be trustworthy. Cause God to see us as devoted men and women of God. Just as he was to his father. Somebody today need to be one. Devoted to that which God is looking for. That God has implemented and put in place in your life. God is looking for you to come up. God is looking for you. To cause him to be what? Please. Cause him to be glorified through your life. Uh, what he was doing right there up on the cross. Looking down on his mother. And his beloved ones. I mean. But there's one who he caused to be his beloved. John the Baptist sister. Is he welcome? I must say to you. As we look. John. 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 John, the beloved John. Tonight I say to you, the same way the Lord who was on the cross, looking down, not being partial because of his mother, wouldn't a son take care of his mother? Is there a son tonight listening you should be de you should be devoted be a devoted son having the responsibility to see about your mother is there a son tonight has that devoted responsibility knowing that you have been charged by God praise God you have been trusted by God entrusted praise God amen to be a care 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 dad, care son, care brother, care pastor, care shepherd, somebody who has the desire to care. Just as how he was upon the cross. He knew that his mother was weak. But he got to give her some strength right there. She needs strength. Who? Are you today who need the strength of the Lord? We all need his strength. As I sit here, I need his strength. I need the strength of the Lord. Strength in my mind. Strength in my very mouth. Strength in my very authority. Praise God. The authority of doing that which God has of me to do. Praise God. Somebody need the strength of God. Just like the woman at the very foot of the cross. His mother. John has to be at the foot of the cross. I'm telling you. John the beloved John have to be at the foot of the cross. Somebody got to be at the place. Somebody has to be at the place for your promotion from God, for your charge. I'm talking to you. Somebody have to be in line, praise God, so that God can see where your heart is devoted. Lord, I, I want somebody to let me loose. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up. It doesn't just happen so. But the Lord will take him time and bring me through. Praise God. Somebody need to come up. Get in line. That line. Yeah. 
that that move that God is expecting of you. Praise God, so that He can you know entrust you. I mean, He can come true for you and cause you to be what is beloved disciple, is beloved daughter, is beloved son. That He can say, "Oh my God, I told you, just as Job, I trust Job." Uh, so Satan, you can do all that you can, but I know who my son is. And Jesus Christ knew who was John. He knew that John was to take his mother home to his own home. The scripture said he took his mother to his own, own home. I don't know if you see anything more in that scripture going down. But after in the very 28 uh, chapter, praise God, verse I should say. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished. You hear that? After him take care of his mother. Now that the scripture say? Yeah. After he had made sure his mother welfare well-being is taken care of the scripture is saying now in verse verse so much baby verse 28 after this jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished that the scripture might be fulfilled said i thirst So some of you, you're ready to leave the home, but you're not leaving peace. Praise God. Some of you as children, some of you, come on, a man. Some of you as son, some of you as daughter, you leave home, but you didn't leave in peace. Jesus Christ couldn't leave until him sought out his mother welfare. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, also the son of God. He was, he was a responsible son. He was a responsible son of his father above. And he's a responsible son of his earthly father and also his mother. What a God. Jesus was fulfilling his family responsibility and on the cross. Through his agony. I'm taking my time. I'm going to take my time. I'm coming through. I, 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 I will say what the flesh would want. I mean, I will say what the spirit desire of me to say. Let me drink a little. My God. Yep. I love it. Until you are in obedience or obedience to the word of God, to the will of the Lord who is in charge of your life until you cause him to trust you. John caused the Lord to entrust in him. He knew that he's devoted. He's loyal. We need to be loyal men of God. Loyal women of God. Loyal children of our parents. Loyal husbands. Loyal wives. We need to be loyal pastors. Shepherds. We need to be loyal. Search me. Search me. Praise God. I'm asking you. If you have that which is representing the master, search me. Because some of you have power from God. Praise God. No matter how liquid it is, some of you have good spirit. Praise God. Some of you mix up. But the Lord has said today, you need to be devoted. Devoted to his will, to his word, according to his riches, according to his plan, according to his word. Be devoted. 
If you are a worshiper, be devoted with that charge which God has charged you. Bless you, Mother Thomas. I must say to you, be devoted. I'm coming up. Taking my time, I'm coming up. I don't love to rush things. If I if somebody have to get a word, whether you get a little, 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 somebody must get a word, an impact word before I go. One person and my spirit must bear witness. The spirit of God in me must bear witness. I have the Holy Ghost. I know what I have. It is not an unclean spirit. It is the spirit of God that lives within me. I declare him and I know that he is with me. Somebody desire must be the will of God. Your desire must be of your flesh, not, not supposed to be. Because what Christ was doing on the cross, it was in his father's will. That which he had carried out, it was pleasing unto the father. He couldn't say, he could not say, mission is accomplished. He could not say it out of his mouth that he has fulfilled. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the scripture might be fulfilled. Ah, uh, he couldn't say that I am thirst. I thirst. He could not. Until me shall accomplish, praise God. He could not say, I thirst. Some of you want to go warm. Some of you want to pray for him, go warm. Some of you want to go heaven, Lord, or tired of earth, and you don't start doing nothing yet. Let me start now. Yes, because the word is speaking in my heart. Some of you, 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 you go into a little stuff that you may, you may can't contain yourself or keep up. Praise God. But I must say to you, if you live in the word, if you live by the command of God, it is all right. As long as you have the Lord beside you, it is all right. As long as you give him the control, as long as he watches over your soul, it is all right. I'm telling you. So you're going through the little much and you want to go home. Lord, be tired. I want to go home. I want to come home, Father. And you don't start work yet. That assignment that was aligned up with the Father's will upon John the beloved one that was in place by God. That is a duty to be carried out. None of them know when Mary, the mother of Jesus, would have died. But he has to take care of her until the Lord say, mission accomplished. Sometimes the Lord bless you with a daughter or a son. The son or the daughter may not birth out of your womb, but God has put things in place. Somebody need to appreciate what God has done. Let me tell you something. In the church, you have shepherds where God has caused them to be good caregivers to take care of the children who have not got the teaching or the care from their mother or their father who have birthed them, but God had put it in place for you to be of good care somebody need to be of good care in line with God's care look at Jesus on the cross going through his agony but he was looking down on his mother looking down knowing that she need to be cared for the Lord put his beloved John in place and anoint him right there. What a nineteen. Praise God. What a nineteen right there for the work. For the keeping. For the safety of who? His mother. Mary. Say, Mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Take care of her. Men. Take care of your wives, men who are children of their parents. Take care of your mother who birthed you. Daughters, take care of your mother. Am I right? And everything we do, we do it right. Make sure the Lord is pleased. Everything we do, we must do it right.
Who am I talking to? Someone who can relate to the scripture. God is putting things in place. God is putting things in place. While he's on the cross, he is addressing stuff that need to be addressed. Huh? And he's not able to move his hands. I hear you. He's not able to move his feet. But there's power in his words. Ah, huh? ah, huh? they could not shut his mouth. I'm just getting that now. I didn't, I didn't see that one. They could not put the stuff over his mouth, cause him not to speak. I'm telling you, I've never heard nothing like this. He has to have a say. I hear the Lord. He must be heard. Tell your neighbors. Tell your sisters, tell your brothers, tell the church, the God that you serve, his mouth has to be open, his words need to be heard. Nobody could have shut his mouth. They may have tied his hands and his feet, but his mouth is where the power lies. You don't hear me. When he speak, everything fall in place. Ha. I see where God is going with his scripture now. His mouth is the very tool for the move of our life. Somebody's looking for instruments, but God's word is life. Yeah. God's word is life. No man can stop him from speak. Observe his moves. When he went to Pilate, few words. Even when the devil came to tempt him, few words. But it was power. I hear you. Thank you. Power. Wonder working power is in the blood of the lamb. Amen. The pain couldn't stop him from speak. Couldn't stop him from talk while he was on the cross. Seven specific, seven, seven final statement he had uttered on the cross. But the third one, he said to the mother who have is, mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. He spoke seven fine statements on the cross and this third statement saying the lord's care and concern today for his mother is by saying to her you need you need you need a devoted helper ah a devoted helper Tell your neighbor, somebody is desiring, you are desiring a devoted helper. May that devoted helper come from God. Because sometimes we search because we're vulnerable. Praise God. We have a need so much, we can't wait on God. But at the foot of the cross, I'm telling you, there is answer. In Jesus Christ's name, there is answer. Somebody need the hands of God, the words of God to be spoken over your life so that you can be free from what which is about to come upon you. I mean, she was going through a lot right there at the foot of the cross. But until God see her needs, he has to be the responsible son who is the family God who is able to show his devotedness as a son who am i talking jesus christ the devoted son the son of mary come on a man he's looking about his mother welfare causing her to be in safety so he sees where he can cause a son of his who's known to be john amen to be what responsible enough to take care of his mother take care of his mother Ah, uh, ah, uh, some of you, you can't trust somebody. Ah, uh, 
Some of you, you can do it. Trust somebody. Amen. Somebody can be find to be responsible enough in the eyes of God today. Yes. You can. You can. You can. You can. Ah, uh, don't doubt yourself. Don't shut down. Know that you can be the devoted daughter. Praise God. You can be the devoted daughter to your physical mother. You can be the devoted son to your physical mother or father. I'm talking to you. But to God himself, you can be devoted. Welcome, see Trinidad. Welcome. You can. Sister Maxine Gently, welcome. All of us who are here, be devoted. Remain devoted if you are. We will continue to be what? Devoted servants of the Lord. Come on. Servants of the Lord. Even though you're going to your pain, still be the servant of God. Devoted. Sold out. Sold out for God. Thank you. Sold out for God. Sister Pauline, Mama Thomas, we are going to be sold out continuously for God. Until we get it right. Until it's set with God. Who is to be here to hear this word? Tomorrow or tonight, may the Lord be, be the God to receive his glory through it all. Thanking God for the move. Thanking God for the move. Thanking God for such way of speaking. While he was speaking, he was looking down and he was addressing needed matter, important stuff. That meeting was a meeting that was set up, that was set up by his father. Amen. Because what he has started, he has to finish it. What the God of our life has started in our life, he will finish it. Somebody need to allow him to finish it. I'm telling you, because to be a mother who did not go into the bed and have sex with her husband to have a child, but God himself has caused her to birth, come on, I'm on a son, oh the king of kings the lord of lords, praise God and up on the cross, up until the day of his very much what, come on man, the day of his what departing out of this out of this flesh, to be the God of spirit, look what is happening look what is happening he's causing a change immediate change into the life of his mother. Immediate change into the life of John. Ah, John had never had such responsibility ever. You don't hear me. The beloved John have never had such responsibility. Like this. Come on. Uh. Someone today. Any responsibility that God has granted you or bless you with. Count it. All joy. Be grateful. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy. Will endure. He will endure with you. Through the charge. Ah, through the promotion. Come on, man. The Lord will what? Endure with you. He will continue to be your guide. He will continue Amen. To feed us with that which we will receive to cause us to, uh, to be strengthened. This word today that he has given unto his mother and John, it is a word of strength. Because she need it. Who am gonna, who's going to take care of me? There's a reason for John to be in care. Men are important in the body of Christ. You don't hear me. Men are important to the body of Christ. 
Men are known to be protectors in the home. Come on, a man. In the community. In the church. Come on, a man. On the job. Come on, a man. Not only to your household, but to anybody. Men are to be what? Good protectors. John may not have the muscle. But he's capable. John may not go to the gym. He may not go to the karate class. Praise God. To learn the moves. Praise God. To defend. Praise God. Who? Jesus Christ's mother after he have left. But he has the Holy Ghost. Somebody you may not be able to read like others, but you're going to church, but through the Holy Ghost you can carry the word. The Lord is speaking little by little. Just pick what you you know it's yours. I'm telling you. That which you couldn't do, some of you don't know your assignment in God. Right at the foot of the cross, God is charging John. God is causing mother, his mother, to be in safety. Protective care. Ah, uh, it's not a rehab, but she's going to a good home. Huh, I can imagine. He may not have the chandelier, but it's a good home. I hear you, Lord. Thank you. I just need to focus on the Lord so that this scripture can come true. Somebody just pray me through. I'm coming out. I'm telling you. That's, that, I, 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 don't, I don't do it for man's sake. I do it for the glory of God. I want to be able to carry the word day after day as I grow. Praise God. Not to just be here and just want to be myself. I want the Lord to use me. I'm desiring day in, day out. But I'm telling you. This promotion, it is real. She's going to a home that is responsible. A home that represents the Lord. Oh. Jesus Christ could not send his mother to a home that is not representing him. Anywhere God send you, he must be there. Praise God, I hear you. Somebody need to allow the Lord to be known in the area where he's looking for you to acknowledge him. It's a good home. The home of John, the beloved that Jesus Christ loved. He has a good home. A home that will cause his mother to be happy. Ah, I hear you. Somebody need to cause the joy of the Lord to remain in your home. The ministry. <laughs> you have mothers in the churches. Who God has caused them to have spiritual sons. Cause the home to be in line with God. Lord, have your way. I'm coming up. Praise him. Cause the house of God to be in line with him. Why would he send his mother to John, the beloved home? Because he know that home represents him. Praise him. I've seen it. Seeing where God has set up children in the earlier days. Praise God, they leave mommy home. Because that which they need to get is not in the home. They got to go where God have it. So sometimes it seems like they're disobeying their parents, but it's not so. God is setting up his children for a future promotion. I'm talking to somebody. Sometimes God will shift you. You'll be going to high school, but you got to run down to the church. You got to run down in your uniform so that tomorrow when you see yourself, you become the apostle. You become what? The one who God has caused to be the teacher in the house. You don't go on that God would cause to be the healer in the house. Because in your younger days, you had made the sacrifice. Be in line with God so that God can cause you to be promoted day in, day out. Somebody tonight can relate with this word. Where God is today, 
you need to cause him to be acknowledged. Somebody need to recognize God so that he can be welcome wherever he desire to be welcome. God desire to be welcome in the community. He desire to be welcome not only in the church, but even at a place where you consider to be a desolate place where man would not want to go. God is able to go places, praise God, because he's able to change man's life, cause the care of him to be known. Somebody need to let God care to be known in their life. I'm talking to you. That is it. The care of the master is still moving here, moving there, just like the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost powers moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Thank you, Lord. It's moving here, moving there, just like the day of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. It's attractive. The Holy Ghost is attractive. Come on, man. The Holy Spirit is pleasant. The Holy Spirit is kind. I don't know what you can say about the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost is right anyhow. The Holy Ghost will prevail. The Holy Ghost will win all battles. There's victory in the name of Jesus. Right there at the foot of the cross. His mother found victory. She, she, she don't have to worry no more. She, she need not to be in fear no more. No, no. They knew she was the mother. So when you have funerals, you know if the mother is alive, she's a good mother she's going to represent. She was representing at the foot of the cross. Some of you have loved ones. Some of you are son and daughter. Mother die, you never go a funeral. How you feel? I'm talking to somebody. How you feel? Some of you have good leaders. What carry out good works in your life. And today, you can say you have never went to the funeral service to show up cause that love in you to be known even if there had been a disagreement no i'm saying to you if you're a mother you go and take care of your son so right now if you're a son take care of your mother take care the care of god is moving the care of god is active Ah, uh, the fulfilling his family responsibility is still active in this life. Ah, uh, he's able to help us. Lord, help me so that I can fulfill my family responsibility. I'm asking the Lord as I declare and I speak it. Help me, oh God, in my weak ears, in my ears that I can able to, that I'm not able to. I'm asking you. There are areas in our life that we think we are doing well, but until the Lord reveal and show unto us our place part in our life. Amen. There's some things we just can't do on our own. We need the Lord. And right here, Jesus was concerned about his mother's welfare. He was concerned. Simple mean he cares. And he doesn't care only about his mother but I'm using her as an example as the same he does for his mother he want to do it for you and he's doing it for you but someone need to acknowledge him as old as you are as grown as you are as young as you are come on a man as terrible them say you is as bad as you are Having some evil ways, God is able 
to see about your spiritual welfare, your temporal welfare. Something about our life still need to be amended. They still need to be fixed until we come to the realization of the truth and be very much honest in ourselves and say, Lord, I can't do it on my own. I need Jesus. Her heart was crying out at the foot of the cross. Somebody need to cry out to God. If you desire an answer, cause your heart to be in line with God for he to be able to read the heart and cause you to be blessed. Eh? Because where you position yourself, it's in the will of God. Where Jesus Christ positioned himself, he was in his father's will. Until he has accomplished such mission, he could not say, I thirst. He could not say, I thirst. Until it was finished. The assignments, the assignments must be finished. The assignments in our life must be finished. Am I right? Is the word of God right? Cause the assignments of God to be accomplished. That when God see it fit, he must be pleased. I'm not staying long with you, but I'm happy. I'm happy to be here, presented in such a way. There has been a little challenge in the earlier. Sometimes you get distracted, but the Lord knows the heart. The heart of you are yours, our minds, but the Lord knows. Today I must say, the Lord bless all of you mothers, all of you sons, all of you who are unsaved and desire to be saved. It is, it is the way to go, is to accept him. Open your heart, the door, let him in. Cause him to be the control God of your life. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus Christ is calling. Hmm? <laughs> he will come he will come very close very close to you he will come very close to you just to save you very close cause him to come close cause some of we have close vision some of we have far vision whether it's in the spirit or the flesh. But God is saying today, cause him to come close so that you can see him. You can behold him. How? Oh, you're not going to see him like how you see man, but you must see God at work. I have seen him at work. I've still seen, it, seen him at work. I'm telling you, I'm still expecting of him to work on my behalf. Not because I am his boss, but because I know is the control of my life. He knows to function more than how I do. He's the God who caused me to be functioning. Without God, I couldn't move my hand. I couldn't scratch my ears. No, I couldn't even go so. Ah, uh, the thoughts I have couldn't be right if it wasn't for God. Look at you. That which he has caused us to be able to do, you lift up your hands and give him thanks. And today, they could not shut his mouth on the cross. Give him thanks. What a powerful way of bringing it. It may not sound like it have power in it, but I said to you, I'm going to repeat it again. They could not shut his mouth. They could not keep him silent, my wife. They could not cause him not to speak according to his father's will or his desire. But he has spoke. On the cross. He had to speak. And he said to his father. I thirst. He didn't tell. The soldiers. But anyone who heard him. But I know his father heard him. I thirst. He didn't say we who are on the cross thirst. But he said I thirst. 
knowing that mission has accomplished. So that assignment that is upon your life that represents God, you will know when the mission is accomplished. Free, free, free. You will feel that free flow. When you carry the service to a place when you're a worshiper, you know when the mission is accomplished. When you pray and you get the result in God, you know the mission accomplished. When you minister the word of God according to his will, mission accomplished. When you live that life that pleases unto God, you know mission is accomplished. We have so many missions that we need to accomplish. So many assignments some of us have. And we are deaf. We are in debt to God. And we need to get that. Get that out of the way so that we can grow, so that we can be promoted, so that we can be entrusted by God, so that we can be able to see ourselves and knowing that we are not more of ourselves, but of God. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. Now, Mary, go home now with your son. Go to the home that I have prepared for you. <laughs> you hear that? She's not going to a home. She has to pay rent. No rent to pay. Mary, no rent to pay. My Jesus paid it. Paid it all for you. Huh? Him still a pay bill. Huh? If you want to be... Please, by your God, please him. She was at the right place. And John was at the right place at the foot of the cross to receive such blessing. Ah, uh, while others are looking for other things. Blessing is the blessings of the Lord is right there at the foot of the cross. Strength, power. A victory. Come on, a man. Safety. The care. He was going through the pain, but the care of God was right there. Ah, uh, what a love. Put himself aside. Ah, uh, to see about his what? Put him pain aside to see about his mother. What a true son. What a true son. Ah, uh, they pierce him, but him looking at his mother. Welfare. Oh God. Where are the sons today? Knows that their mother need them. I'm talking to you. Even if you don't have the money, just change your life. I'm talking to you. Cause your mother to be strengthened today. By your changing of your ways. I'm talking to you. Somebody today need to be what? Devoted. Be a devoted son. Son of the true God. And son of your parents. I'm telling you. Be devoted to that charge on your life as a mother. A mother who God has blessed. Like the way he has blessed Mary with his beloved John. So God do it, man. When God set it up, he set it up good. So cause the Lord to see your heart, please. John was pleased to take home his new mother. <laughs> John was pleased, Mama Thomas, Sister Easy, uh, Sister C C L C T C Trinidad, Sister Fay Guy. All of you. God was pleased seeing John taking care of his mother. And John was pleased taking home Jesus' mother. Ah. Uh, and Mary was pleased. The mother of Jesus was pleased. Going home to her new home. 